sure could use. But it says the way now. Uh oh. Is, 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 is that who I think it is? Oh my gosh, it is! Oh no, I really needed my big sister right now! I hope the Queen of Hearts doesn't catch me! Oh yeah, she definitely does not want to be caught by the Queen of Hearts, because you guys know what happens when you get caught by the Queen of Hearts. Off with her head! Yeah, that. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today, we're finally getting around to making OMG Alice in Wonderland, or OMG Curious Cutie, until you guys decide what name we shall name her. It could be OMG Alice, that's an easy route, pretty obvious name, we know who she is. But anywho, you guys know who's filling in for this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, because you already saw her. <laughs> Where am I? Is this Wonderland? Oh my gosh, my hair is a mess. I can't be looking all cray cray for the Prince Charming. Uh, groovy babe, there's no Prince Charming here. What? No Prince Charming? Yeah, that's a different story. Well, can I still get a makeover? That we can help you with. Mm -hmm. Give her a quick snipperoo, cut all of her hair, and get her some brand new hair. Of course, you know I have doll planet hair in butterscotch. And I've also got another color that I think I might want to use for OMG Alice because I think we can make her like an edgy Alice. If you guys remember, here's the drawing I made of her. It's a coloring page on Facebook that you guys can print out and color whatever which way you want, but this is how I colored her. We can either stay exactly close to this or we can try something different, like half of her hair blue, like on this side, and half of it the butterscotch blonde. We'll just go with the flow and see where it takes us. And there's also something else very special in this OMG makeover video, and that is this ginormous Doll Planet gift away. You guys, the Doll Planet messaged me on Instagram. She was so nice to send all of this, oh, all of this hair and she wanted it to be a part of a giveaway for you guys. That is a lot of hair, all kinds of textures, all kinds of colors. And she also has a rerouting contest on her Instagram. You can find her on Etsy too. Her whole shop is on Etsy. Oh, I just almost knocked my camera down. But she's got a whole entire giveaway where you can reroute whatever color hair, whatever texture hair on a doll of your choice and it has to be the Doll Planet hair. You enter for a chance to win doll hair. But this giveaway is on my channel and all you have to do is leave in the comment section if you were to choose any type of hair color that you could have, what would it be? It could be a rainbow hair, it could be a combination of colors, it could be even unicorn colors. It's all just for fun. And then I will choose the winner. Only one person can win because I want to send them this whole pack of hair. And I know there's a lot of international peeps in our crew, but just because of everything that's going on right now and the fact that international mail is a nightmare right now, I'm going to include this for US only. I hate to do that to you guys, but it's just for the ease of getting the package to you. Easier for me, easier for you guys, and it's less likely of a chance of all of this beautiful hair getting lost. You must be 13 and above. Yes, that's a rule. For my younger audience, you must have a grown-up contact me if you get chosen. That is it, my lovelies. Now let's start cutting all our hair off. Now it's time for some boiling hot water. I'm gonna dunk her head in. And remember, always use caution when crafting. Oh, there you go, I got her in. Once her plastic is soft enough, I'll pop her head off and get rid of the rest of the hair and start plucking everything out with my handy dandy tweezers. All righty then, we should be good to go. Take off the head. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, that's a lot of water in there, a lot. Bald and bare she is. Let's go ahead and take out the monstrosities inside. All right, so here's all the hair we got from 
out of her head. It's mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> now it's time to buff her head to get some brand new paint on. And at this point is the final decision if I wanna make half of the hair blonde and half of the hair light blue because the color of the hair is the paint that I'm going to use on each area of her head. What would that look like? I can always print another one of these and color it in light blue. Even though I think the light blue would kind of mash with her light blue outfit, but if I make it entirely blonde, I think that might be a little basic for OMG dolls. I'll blonde like the original drawing or half blue and half blonde. So there's Elsa, me and my undecisive self ordered butterscotch because I wanted like a more Alice in Wonderland type of blonde and this hair is the low temperature nylon hair. So you can tell that there's a difference in the texture and the way the hair is versus the premium nylon and then the blue is the deja blue.
are finished with the rerouting of her hair. I've got a mixture of butterscotch and Elsa. It looks so pretty. Now it's time to glue all of this hair down. Get it nice and secure in there. And then boil wash her hair. Get a nice big old wad covering all the parts of the inside of her head. And I'm gonna wait about two to four hours to have the glue be solid enough for me to move on with the rest of her. After her boil wash makeover, it's time for a haircut. It's time for Bertha. Being that I've already completed the best part of the makeover, my most favorite part, we are now at the part that I am most nervous about. I'm always nervous before I make any type of outfit. My sewing skills are subpar at best. I have gotten better, definitely, with these OMG makeovers, but still, I still get nervous. I don't know what it is. It's just something about sewing that just calculations and measurements and all that kind of stuff. But anywho, Bertha's here. We're ready to start sewing OMG Curious Cutie slash Alice her outfit. So for Alice, I've got this nice stretchy light blue fabric and I'm gonna make her a circle skirt, then a separate top out of this fabric. And of course you guys know, we add other pieces to it too. So here we go.
my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless Electrify me 
All right, finally, she is done. We have OMG Alice, finally complete. She is ready to fight the Queen of Hearts. Time for a close up. So what did we do for the lovely Alice? I made her a custom head bow. I was really going for the whimsical, magical world of Alice in a Wonderland, Disney kind of live action featured film feel. Very much inspired by my favorite, Tim Burton. She's got beautiful curly hair in a mixture of Elsa and Butterscotch. Oh, so pretty. Gave her a custom face. She's got a spade and a heart on each cheek. I am completely in love with her cute little teacup earrings. It was challenging painting them since they are so tiny and the teacups, I was lucky enough to find my old Calico Critters stuff. It was from one of their kitchen sets. Really, really cute stuff Calico Critters has and they're perfect for earring size for our OMG dolls. Her neck piece, I actually made her a collar out of lace in the beginning and then I decided to borrow Candylicious's choker Peter Pan collar because that's kind of like the edgy look I was going for and it also stayed true to the original drawing. Of course, you guys know I always switch stuff up so we don't stay exactly the way the drawing is, but I'm actually happy with how the real life doll turned out. I made her some puffy sleeves, custom top painted on the spades and all the little deck of cards symbol-y thingies. Oh yeah, she's got a big old bow that I custom made out of the same fabric, painted it in a checkered pattern Pattern. She's got lace sort of wrist cuffs. I wouldn't really call them gloves, but you can call them gloves. I also gave her a petticoat underneath her skirt. I think it makes it look very Alice-y. And moving on to her bottom half, I used Groovy Babe's pants and made her some knee-high socks, painted them in stripes, used some extra shoes I had from Dollface. Was it Dollface? Dolly, the OMG doll. Gave her some heart gems in the front. And yes, you guys, I cut the shoes. The shoes for some reason would not get on her feet with the socks on. So I had to cut the signs. Mm, let's ignore that. And on the back, she has some checkered bows. And of course I went ahead and sealed everything with matte varnish and high gloss varnish while I was doing the makeover. So yeah, here you guys have it, OMG Alice. Now just in case the comments are turned off by YouTube, you can leave what you think I should name her on Instagram. You can follow me there at Cupcake Squad Club. Don't forget to check out the Doll Planet's rerouting contest and I will be emailing the winner for this nice bunch of hair that the Doll Planet sent in for a giveaway to you guys. Oh yeah, if the comment section is off over here, then you guys can go on Instagram and let me know what color hair, it could be the craziest color hair on the face of the planet, is your favorite and I will email or DM the account that the comment is attached to. Thanks again to the Doll Planet for sending these hair hairs in for free. And that's it for now. I will see you guys later. Bye.